hello 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 welcome back to another tutorial and this tutorial people have asked me how do I get my parcels my lines and my parcels I already have a video up on it I think it was um the mermaid um thing parcels but I'm just show you straightforward simple with the lines I've been getting so many requests for it yeah I have so many videos and guess what? My phone just came, so <laughs> I know y'all can hear me, so that's not a problem. Okay, let's get started. What you're going to need? Chocolate. And you can use this, which is my favorite brand. It tastes good. I mean, it's my favorite. Or you can use almond bark. You get this bag from Sam's, and you get this from Walmart. And I color it using this chocolate chameleon colors and it give you the red okay you're gonna need your parcels and you can get this from Walmart or your Dollar Tree if you have a Dollar Tree in your area you can get it it's a dollar but um, yeah this bag come from the Dollar Tree okay you're going to need a sleeves bottle for the lines. And you get these bottles from Michaels. And I want to say it's Sweet Sugar Bell. Sugar Bell, you know, however you pronounce it. But you can get these from um, Michaels. And you're going to need something tall, a glass, a cup, anything tall to dip in. Okay. And my process came straight out the freezers. freezer. I like to freeze my process if y'all... If those of you who have followed me know I like dipping cold. That's just my thing. Okay. You're going to take the glass. You're just going to fill it with chocolate. Like so. You're going to take a pretzel. And your glass, dip it in the glass, take it out, tap it on the side of the bowl, give it a scrape, and just place it down. And by your um, process being in the freezer, the chocolate automatically is going to set on them faster. And I think that's why I like it. Okay, another one. I'm just going to place it. You know, I have chocolate everywhere. And see by you dipping in something tall, it's easier to dip in versus um, spooning the chocolate over the pretzels like this. I don't do it the way I hate it that way, actually. I just find this works best for me. I'm just going to place it. Like I said, dipping it in something tall is going to completely cover the pretzel. So you don't have to worry about if all sides got any chocolate on it. Because it's automatically going to cover. You're just going to place it. So I'm going to get all these dipped for the first time because I always double dip. Anything I'm doing in chocolate, I double dip. So I'm going to get all these dipped and I'll be back. Okay, now that my pretzels have come out the refrigerator from setting. If you see this little rough edges on them, that's no problem. Take a knife, a sharp knife, and just take them off like this. And they're ready to do. 
so just like before and you can always take a piece of parchment paper like I have here and lay it down And once it um, kind of like finished dripping all the excess chocolate off, you can take it and then remove it and put it to your lid on your pen with your parchment paper on it. But anywho, y'all have chocolate everywhere. Take it. gonna sit it here. Cause my gloves keep sticking, my hands are clean. I'm just gonna lay it here. Then I'm gonna pick up this one, slide it, and put it on my parchment, my pen. Take my cup, and I haven't reheated this chocolate yet, so that's a good thing. Take another pretzel. See how I cover it completely? My pretzels is not thick how I like them because I like a fuller pretzel, not a thin looking pretzel. I, I'm going to dip it again if they're not how I like it. So sometimes I double dip, sometimes I triple dip. Just depends on the thickness of my pretzel. Like I can already tell you this, I'm going to have to double dip. I mean, dip a third time. So, I'm going to finish dipping the um, last three parcels I have, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that I got them out the refrigerator, and I'm dipping them again, I went ahead and um, already dipped some, and I have four left, so just like before, you're just going to take it and dip it. Sit down. Now my chocolate is starting to um, thicken up. It's starting to get a little hard on me. Well, not really hard. It's just getting thick. And you want to keep a toothpick nearby in case you have any bubbles. Just pop it and give it a shake and it'll be fine. And I'm just putting it in, pouring it on like that because like I said, my chocolate was starting to try to harden up on me. It's getting thick and it didn't completely cover it. And for those of y'all who like your chocolate thick, you don't need to dip them twice. Because the thickness of the chocolate depends, it's going to show on the parcels. A thicker chocolate is going to cover, it's going to be a more fuller pretzel versus a thinner chocolate where you would have to dip it twice and sometimes three times. Y'all okay, got a mess right here. A complete chocolate mess. 
okay and that's how they're gonna look so i'm gonna let this um set in the refrigerator and then i'll be back to do the lines stay tuned okay now that they're completely dry i got them out the refrigerator i'm gonna clean up any edges that i have taking this knife and i'm just gonna cut away on both sides like so then i'm gonna take my squeeze bottle you need a steady hand with this to get your lines perfect and you're gonna take it drip some out and just go back and forward You don't want it too close together because the chocolate is warm and it would just merge into one. Like that. Same thing, you're gonna clean up your edges. Take your bottle, squeeze, and just go back and forward. How close you want your lines is totally up to you. And I'm usually doing this over a bowl so I can just catch my chocolate and put it back in. But. See how close I did that one? It just went into the first one and became one. I'm just going left to right. Okay, so I'm going to get all these dip. I mean, put lines on all of them and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to tell you, when you're doing your lines and you got your bottle, you're going to squeeze on your bottle slightly like a light squeeze so that way it can automatically just drip out Sometimes you get little clumps in it.
like I'm doing. And it's um for me it's probably my chocolate wet um fully melted because I just heated it up inside this bottle. Just take it, squeeze, so it can flow out like that. And just go back and forward. Place it down to dry. Okay, so I'm going to completely let these dry. And I'll be back to show you how they look. Okay, now that my process is completely set, this is the outcome of them. And I did do one white one because her son is allergic to the red um food, the dye of um, red food coloring. So that white is for him. And okay, let's go over what we did, what we used. You're gonna need your pretzels, of course. You can get them, like I said, they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree or two ninety eight at Walmart. So dollar, you can't beat that Dollar Tree. Um, your chocolate, color of chocolate, of course, of your choice. You can either use almond bark or my thing is this one, and you can get this from Sam's. And I did color my chocolate using this. And you could find this on Esty. Um, a pan lined with parchment paper, a tall glass or cup to dip in, and that's about it. And a squeeze bottle. Like I said, you get those squeeze bottles from Michael's. And it's by Sweet Sugar Bell. See the fine tip on it? That's what you need. For your line or you can get a piping bag if you use a piping bag make sure when you cut the bottom of the piping bag it's a straight line so hey you can bag these in personal bags or you can box them like i'm gonna do i already um placed some paper towels in my boxes and if you want to know where i got these boxes from i already have a video on these boxes so go search under my um channel and you'll see where i got these boxes from Okay, what else? I mean, that's about all. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm going to leave y'all with this little quote I found off Google. Where I find most of my quotes. <laughs> but it go like this. Don't worry about trying to prove things and making mistakes, especially in the beginning. It takes patience and time to set the right thought at you. Don't rush it. I mean... Just keep striving, like I always say, keep pushing. You know, like you see in my videos, it ain't always peaches and creams. It ain't always 100%. I make mistakes. I have chocolate everywhere. <laughs> you know, but don't give up. Don't let that, you know, get you down, you know, and be like, oh, I can't do it. This ain't for me, you know, or I'm not getting no customers, you know. Trust me, they are watching and they are coming. You may not think people is watching your work or you may not think you're good enough, but trust me, you are. You know, go to God with an excellent to bless your business, watch over your business, you know, to prosper, you know, all that good stuff and leave it alone and watch God do what God do. But um, until next time, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I got a whole lot of videos. I had a whole lot of videos to put out. But my phone just came. As y'all can see, y'all can hear me. <laughs> um, and But I'll be putting them out. So like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can still give it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> but um, 
any questions you have, you can leave it in the comment section. And I'm going to try to answer them. Y'all be so busy, but um, don't hold it against me, you know. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. I hope you took some away from it. Until next time, bye-bye. Y'all be blessed. Have a safe weekend. Until my next tutorial. Bye-bye.